We're also going to be picking out some Halloween costumes for the dogs. And I also am going to be talking about Ellie. Um, she's been living with us for about like four or five days now. And I want to give you guys kind of an update um, on her personality, how it's changed throughout the days, and how she's getting along with everybody, if she's getting along with the cats, if she's getting along with the dogs. So yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But before that, we also have another surprise. Should I show them? No. All right, we're gonna wait. We have too much stuff going on that's exciting. We're gonna hold off on this surprise and I'll, and I'll reveal it later on. We're going to Spirit now. Oh my gosh, what are you guys being for Halloween? Let me know in the comments down below. I wanna be something nice, like a fairy or like something nice. Jay wants to be a squid. I don't know why I tried talking him out of it. It's supposed to be a big uh, squid. I was just gonna say something, but I helped to say be nice. I was gonna say Nicole wanted to be something, but you, you wanted to be an army man, you said. I wanted to be an army man? Like a G.I. Joe? This, that would be hot. That wouldn't even be bad. I'm already wearing camo. I'm already like an army man right now. That's yeah, but like, you said you gotta put a mustache on. Dude, I don't know if you saw those pictures of me being a guy. <laughs> like someone edited uh, a picture of me as a guy. I look pretty good. Let's go to spirit. Jay found his Halloween costume he wants to wear. No, I found it right here. My shirt. Jay said he hates that shirt. Oh, that'll look good on you. Yeah. I love this. It's a boogeyman mask from Nightmare Before Christmas. You can be the Hocus Pocus witches from that movie. I could be Sarah Sanderson and I wouldn't even need a wig. I could be a sweet scarecrow. You wanna be Harry Potter? That would be. I narrowed it down to a couple outfits I like. Alice in Wonderland, Queen of Hearts, Cleopatra, a saloon girl, and a scarecrow. And I told Jay, whatever I decide, Jay has to compliment me. So if I'm Cleopatra, then he'll be like an Egyptian, or this, he'll be like a cowboy, or like, you know, he'll be a scarecrow. Halloween costumes and I decided that I didn't want to be any of them so I'm still on the hunt I've been to some spirits and they had like kind of nicely high quality like costumes and what I just tried on just now nothing really like floated my boat and then I'm like stuck in the middle of like do I want to do cool makeup cuz like I'm capable of like doing something cool and if I'm a saloon girl cuz I almost chose a saloon girl then like I don't know, just kind of basic. Like, I want to be something cool. Like, one year for Halloween, I was Cinderella, and I had, like, a realistic Cinderella dress. Like, it was, like, like a nicely high-quality Cinderella dress with padding, and, like, I got it from Spirit. It was, like, $99, but it was super, super nice, and I actually kept it for a long time, and I even rode it in a horse show once, and the dress spooked my horse, and, um, let's just say I didn't finish the show. But, yeah, that's what I'm looking for, something good, something cool. And then if I'm a saloon girl, what's Jay supposed to be, like, a cowboy? A saloon like, girl. You want to be a saloon girl, I'll be too? a saloon sister. I wanted Jay to be the orange witch from Hocus Pocus, the one with the orange hair, but he said no. Because I could be the one with the blonde hair, he could be the one with the orange hair. Alright, now we are on our way to Petco. We are at the dog Halloween costume section now, and I love this. Hey, this spider looks so cute. Alright guys, I don't see any costumes that we like. It's a lose for me, and it's a lose for the dogs. So we're going to have to go online and figure it out online. We are shopping in the baby section, and you might assume that we're, you know, buying something for a baby. But we're buying something for Nicole's newest collection. She hasn't told you guys she has a huge collection of all these things. No, but really, I think Baby Bird would love this. Tell me she wouldn't like that. Oh yeah. Okay guys, so we just got home, as you can tell, by the excited pants. Franklin, I missed you, Franklin! Willie, I missed you, Willie! Bumby, I missed you, Bumby! As you can see, here is Baby Bird's new toy, and we're gonna find out if she likes it or if she hates it. This is her first, like, baby toy I've ever got her. Let's see. Hello? What is that? <coughs> what do you think? <coughs> you cared about it for a second, huh? Do you like <coughs> it? Are you hungry right now? 
favorite's hungry. Look. She didn't, when she's hungry, she doesn't want to do anything. I filmed a video with her hungry, and she like didn't even want to do it because she says she's hungry. All right, baby, let's feed you. As you can see, look at Ellie. She loves playing. She's so happy. Yeah, you're happy. You love Frankie. This is where we feed baby bird. So I just fed baby bird, and honestly, I want to come out with a video on why you shouldn't get a baby bird or a macaw. Like, they're awesome, they're really cute, but for the average person, they're very, very hard birds. So I will be coming out with a video in the future um, about that topic. Just because I've been getting a couple DMs from a couple people that were inspired to get a young baby bird. You know, if you don't know anything about birds, or if you do know like a little bit, like I don't know, do a lot of research, take your time in deciding if you want a bird or not because they're a lifelong commitment. The average bird gets rehomed nine to 11 times in their lifetime. Baby bird obviously will, will be with me forever. But, you know, they bite, they poop, they chew wood. Just do a lot of research before you decide that you want your own baby bird. Now we are feeding the horses. They are hungry. We left the fans on all day when the horses aren't in the stalls, which means wasting electricity. Flight is like, yeah, buddy, I am hungry. Flight, you look sweaty. One thing I love about being in Florida is how green everything always is. What's up, big boy? You need a bath, huh? Look at you. To your stall flight? No, don't go in too below stall. Ooh. Oh, nice. Oh, he's tired. It is so beautiful out right now. Oh my gosh. That's another good thing about Florida is the sunsets are always beautiful. There's Molly. Hi, Molly. We're gonna go check up on the quails. We're gonna give them some mealworms. Make sure everything's locked in, predator proof for the night. We got a forest sunset going on. Like a jungle sunset. Okay, let's see how the quails are doing. The quails. So as you guys know, Hurricane Michael just came through. And honestly, we didn't even get hit at all. Um, I don't know, it was like it was like a walk in the park for us, luckily, like thank goodness. I was going to bring all my quails inside my garage and in like a dog crate. Um, luckily I didn't have to do that. So it rained here a little bit, but not too much. You can see like the sand is wet. I have a zip tie in there, but the sand is wet and you can see all the little bird feet. <laughs> so this side of the run got wet and then this side is perfectly dry. I'm so happy about that just because I was really worried about the ground being wet and like them getting infections like foot infections and stuff and I think I'm in the clear. I think that since this has such like a sturdy roof on it, um, rain doesn't get there and there's a million mosquitoes so I'm going to go ahead and finish feeding them. Um, I have one of my white quails in my garage right now just because its eye was looking a little angry, a little red and inflamed um, from the gnats. I fixed my gnat problem with this stuff called seven dust. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I first put these birds in here, the gnats were driving them insane. And I put some seven dust down and a lot of people who have chickens use it. It's right here, seven dust. But yeah, I sprinkled it in there and it cleared up their eye problems and, and just everything. Like they're just, their head scratching issues. It cleared that up so quick. Um, and then I had one quail that had just a little bit more of red irritated eyes. And I brought him in the garage and he's doing fantastic now. Okay, this camera is not focusing at all but there's a huge spider just trust me let's go back and feed the dog update on the sunset it is really beautiful okay well apparently Franklin likes this hey right, Frankie all right, all right Ellie's not sure about it Baby Bird does not like it. Well, we'll have to try again one day. Right now she's not interested. It's probably just bad timing. Honestly, in the morning time she'll probably be more interested. Baby Bird likes the cardboard more than her actual xylophone thing. All right, we have an excited Ellie on our hands. She's feeling good. Let's see Ellie do a little run. Lorenzki. 
Uh, she is so happy here. Oh, good pee pee. Everyone's doing pee pee. Willie needs his DP off. I actually have a pack now, you guys. Look at my pack. And there are the horses. I think I'm gonna ride flight. He thinks he's gonna get dinner, but oh no, he's gonna get ridden. Okay, you guys, so as you can tell, it's the next day. Just filmed two videos, and literally last night, I went to sleep with no pimples, and I woke up this morning, and I had three. I don't know if you can see it. Ah! Baby bird! One above my eyebrow, one there. And where was the other one? I had one somewhere else. Too. Hello? As you can see. Oh! Baby bird. Gentle. She just screamed right in my ear. She just good ah right in my ear. She looks bigger to me today. All of a sudden she's bigger. We're gonna feed baby bird. I wanna try and ride my horses. Baby bird is one happy baby bird. Look what we got. We got some mixed nuts for you. Are you excited? Yeah, you love nuts. We also got another awesome package. I am going to uh, be showing you guys in a minute. Okay, so I'm feeding my dogs their raw food right now and Ellie is 100% on raw food now, so she's all good. She also gets this pill twice a day and this is called doxycillin. This is the beginning of her heartworm treatment, so she doesn't like pills and she's very smart about pills, so we have to crush the pill up and then hide it in her food. So that's what we will be doing and then, I don't know, I haven't had any time to talk about Ellie and, and explain her personality and, and, and all that fun stuff. Been super busy. Okay, I am going to be crushing this up, putting it in her food, and then we will have very happy dogs. Right, Frankie? Alright, so I also threw a quail egg in there as well. Quail eggs. All right, so it is a little challenging carrying out four dishes by yourself, but I'm gonna do it, so let's go. All right, so everyone is fed, and they are happy. Here is Callie leaving with the full belly. Ellie loved her food, and the food we feed is We Feed Raw. You can follow them on Instagram, and you can also check out their website. I will leave their website in the description down below. And yeah, shout out to We Feed Raw for always keeping my animals super happy and healthy. I also just got this in the mail. I ordered some liquid vitamins. This is glucosamine liquid plus all that extra stuff at the bottom. And yeah, this is for my joints. Regular like horse pills hurt my belly, so I'm gonna try it in a liquid form. Okay, so it wants me to put 10 drops under my tongue and then hold it there for two minutes without swallowing. I'll give it a try. The it tastes nasty, no promises. I can't tell if I got any or not. Right? How am I not supposed to swallow this? I have way too much in my mouth. This is not working out. I have to swallow it. And it Spit everywhere. Well, I almost chipped my tooth off, so I think I'll just use like a dropper, like one of these droppers, and that'll work. And for the record, I only kept it in for like a minute and then I had to swallow, so I'll get better with time, hopefully. Okay, now we're gonna try the iodine, and this is just one drop, so. One. That's it? One? Really? That seems too easy. Doesn't taste that bad. That's pretty easy. I could do that every day. Now. I'm going to ride flight. All the animals are fed. Everyone's good. Alright you guys, well, I don't know if you could notice or tell, obviously 
My riding wasn't at its peak today and that is because my knee was hurting so bad I couldn't even post today. I obviously talked too soon. I got too excited that I was able to ride. I have a vlog, you know, titled like I'm finally back in the saddle. Well, that might not be the case. Every time I post, like put any pressure in my knee, it's like extremely sharp pain and I can't even do it. I can canter because I'm not like constantly putting pressure on my knee. So I can still canter, but the transition from canter to trot, you know, cause he doesn't just automatically come to a walk. He goes to a trot is like um, unbearable, which is why like I lean forward and like try to alleviate pressure off my knee. <sighs> it's been like, it's nine months now, almost a year since I had surgery and like, I'm not like sad because like I'm hurt. Like, you know, obviously my eyes are a little red, but it's not because like, you know, the pain. It's just because I'm so frustrated. Like I have jumps coming. I ordered them. I have uh, like four or five jumps. Like I'm gonna have a full little course and I'm not even gonna, uh, I'm just like really frustrated. Poor Flight is like wondering why every time we trot, you know, I stop. He's like, what am I doing wrong? I'm like, Flight, it's not you, it's me. Literally, I'm just, this is like something like I love to do and I guess the most frustrating part about it is that last week I rode and I could trot and I could I could post and I could do everything and I wasn't in an incredible amount of pain and then like this week it hurt. It's like either you're hurt or you're, you're you know, you're good. Like don't, my knee obviously is playing me. I just, if it was hurt, like, don't let me ride, you know? Like, being able to ride and then not being able to ride is, like, the part that is the most annoying part. So, I'm looking into, like, stem cell therapy. Um, if you guys have had it, I would love to know your experience, particularly if you've had it in your knee, or if you know anyone who has stem cell therapy. I know there's a bunch of different kinds of stem cell therapy. Basically, what it is, is they inject stem cells, and it helps all your cartilage and everything grow back new in whatever joint but yeah i'm looking into doing like if my knee's not getting better stem cell therapy but if i were to do that it would almost be like having surgery again for like four months <clears throat> i won't be able to like be completely active and then after like three four months then i'll be able to you know be better than ever hopefully that's that's the the goal of stem cell obviously but yeah this knee injury has put me back so far. I got a total ACL reconstruction. If I were to just do the cadaver ligament, I probably would have no pain right now and been back in the saddle, but cadaver ligaments don't last as long. I have a cadaver ligament in my right because I tore my right like 10 years ago. So I've had the surgery before. My right knee is totally fine, perfect ace. And now my left knee, the one I tore last year, is the one causing me problems. And it's just like, <sighs> I don't know, I'd love to know your guys' uh, experience with stem cell if you have any. Yeah, I feel like this vlog's getting too long now, so I'm going to end it here. Um, and I'll talk about Ellie and her personality in the next vlog. And yeah, I mean, things could be so much worse. I, I know I couldn't be able to ride and stuff. It's just frustrating when I can ride one week and then the next week it hurts too bad to ride. All right, Skies family, I love you so much. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, hit that like button. If it's not liked, and uh, yeah, I love you guys. Bye.